It is a truth universally acknowledged that whenever a black person does something, it's usually cool and changes the world. You know, I'm cool, plus I'm black, which is cool, so I win twice. Case in point, even a simple handshake in the literal hands of black folks becomes a vessel for flyness, authenticity, and cultural solidarity. And the origin of the DAP, in particular, plays a major role in concretizing its place in American history. Now DAP stands for Dignity and Pride, which speaks volumes about the time period it was born out of. Uh, our people have, have been the constant victims of brutality on the part of America's racists, and the government has found itself either unwilling or unable to do anything about it. anti-war demonstrators protest U.S. involvement in the Vietnam War. According to this scholar, when black GIs who were stationed in the Pacific during the Vietnam War were sent into combat, the DAP became, quote, an important symbol of unity and survival in a racially turbulent atmosphere, unquote. I'm not above you, you're not above me, we're side by side together. And that's the original DAP. That was Lamont Hamilton, an interdisciplinary artist who created the Five on the Black Hand Side Project, that explored gestural languages that were born in African-American communities during the 60s and 70s. And he's right. This type of in-group handshake is a marker of identity and support, especially in the face of racism and immediate danger, much like today. Whether black folks are out here dapping one another up, nodding, or bumping elbows thanks to the pandemic, at the end of the day, it's all about acknowledging someone's humanity in a world that so often strips black people of theirs. Now that's something we should all have a hand in. <laughs>